Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. At the beginning of December, I posted a video that um, previously, as posted, Microsoft had confirmed 40% slower performance when copying large files using Windows 11 version 22H2. And this has been a bug that's been one of the known issues in Windows 11 22H2 since the feature update did roll out in September earlier this year. And in an earlier dev channel build 25252, um, there was a fix that Microsoft and was working on for the copy performance issue in Windows 11. Now, just a quick video to uh, keep you updated that uh, if you are still experiencing that file copying issue, mainly over a network, um, it was affecting uh, copying files over a network using Windows 11 version 22H2, where there could be up to 40% slower performance when copying large multi-gigabyte files. Microsoft now has... Um, just announced an update that um, with the latest dev channel build, which I did post on, and I'll leave a link in the description to that build, which is build 25267, um, that version of Windows 11 fixed an issue where restartable copies of a file with alternate data streams were hanging frequently in the latest dev channel builds. Now, that's a fix that they are rolling out for that file copying issue, which they started to work on in that previous dev channel build, and now they seem to be finalizing in this latest dev channel build. And Microsoft goes on to say in this announcement that the final fix for Windows 11 22H2 production computer, um, that's the stable version, will come in a normal monthly cumulative update through Windows Update once validated in Insider Builds. Now, this is the last Insider Build um, that rolled out for Windows 11 this year, build 25267. And that means that we could expect hopefully early next year through Windows Update in a normal monthly cumulative update um, to have a fix rolling out for that slow copying file performance um, copying up to 40% slower, especially when copying files over a network. So I just wanted to keep you updated if you were affected by that issue and just give you a heads up that that fix has not been finalized yet by Microsoft and there's a good chance that could be rolling out early next year as a normal monthly cumulative update. But if obviously something does change and it does roll out, I will post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.